everyone, and happy Sunday. It's Mystery Manny time, so let's pick some polishes. Okay, so our first polish is right here, and this is uh, Simple Pleasures P1. So, I actually got a Simple Pleasures like gift manicure set kind of thing, and it had a bunch of different polishes in it. None of them have names on them, so I just kind of named them P whatever. <laughs> <laughs> SP the number you know it's a really simple naming thing just had to get a name on them but this is a beautiful soft pink from that collection so pretty all right let's see what we are going to pair with that and that will be right here Ooh. and this is Quixotic uh, Atlantica Ooh, that's pretty <laughs> so exotic Atlantica and Simple, Ple Simple Pleasures S3. Those are pretty. Wow, look at those. Mm. Oh, those are pretty. Oh my goodness. I like those a lot. Very pretty. Okay, so those are the two polishes I picked. I'll meet you back here with the Complete Manny. We'll see what I can come up with. And here we are with a closer look at the colors. First up, Quixotic Atlantica, and this is described as a ocean blue with an aquamarine shifting shimmer and a touch of hollow sparkle. Then we have Simple Pleasures SP3, and this is a light pink cream. For this mani, I'm going to be using two different techniques. So what I'm going to do is start off with just a base coat. This is a white. The one I'm using here is by Maybelline Fast Gel. And this does not have to be opaque. Just one coat of this is perfectly fine. Now for my ring finger and middle finger, I'm going to do some sponging. Using a fast drying top coat is going to help make sure that when I am sponging, that white base does not get picked up. And now to help with cleanup, I'm going to apply Moyu London's Cuticle Guard around those two nails. Now with a clean makeup sponge, I'm going to apply a strip of each color, slightly overlapping them. Then I'm going to apply this at a slight angle, applying up and down and back and forth motions to make sure those colors are blended well. I do do this twice for each nail, just to make sure that it is the opacity that I desire. Then using a pair of tweezers, just going to peel up that cuticle guard. And again, repeating those same steps on my middle finger.
These two colors are so cute sponged together, I decided to use these really fun 3D water decals. I'm going to place these in the water for about 30 seconds. They do um, have to stay in the water a tiny bit longer than normal because they are a little bit thicker with that 3D-ness of them. So then I'm just going to go ahead and apply these to my nail and gently push it down, making sure to squeeze out all the water that is underneath. And for my middle finger, I decided to use this really cute cupcake. And for the second technique, I'm going to be doing some water marbling. So for my pinky and index finger, I'm going to apply the cuticle guard all over my skin around my nail. I want to get this on the front and the back of it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and use regular tap water is what I use and then I just put it in a paper cup here and apply the dots. I'm just applying alternating the uh, quixotic and then simple pleasures and I did add in the white which is the teas uh, by Maybelline Fast Gel that I use. And then I'm using a very fine dotting tool and I just kind of create any type of design. I'm not really going for anything. So then I just dip my finger in, blow on it a little bit and make sure that that top is pretty much dry and then going around with a q-tip and then picking up any excess then I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off that liquid latex and now again repeating those same steps for my index finger And after a little bit of cleanup and a coat of Vibrant Finals Fast and Hard Top Coat in Petricor, this Manny is complete. And here is my final design. I hope you guys enjoy this. I think this turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love these 3D water decals. And with these two colors, water marbled and sponged, it just looks really fun and cotton candy-ish. Very, very fun, Manny. Please leave any comments or suggestions below, and I will see you in the next one.